In Maya, you have the option to save your file as either a .ma file or a .mb file. But what's the differences between a Maya ASCII file and a Maya binary file? In this video, let's discuss the two file types and go over a few of the benefits and restrictions of each. When inside of Maya, there's no visual difference between using either of these file types, but under the hood, the way the scenes are being saved does change. The simplest way of explaining all of this, and all you really need to understand is that a .ma is like a raw text document, which is readable and most importantly, editable. That's great for doing things like search and replace, great for changing file paths or other parameters you might want to change a lot of quickly in one go. This can save you if your file ever becomes corrupt or even with backwards compatibility with older versions of Maya. Alternatively, .mb is binary, so a numeric file, and by nature are compressed for smaller file sizes and quicker read times. This can be great for final versions of a file. For example, in a pipeline, your published assets might be stored as an MB as you're not actively working on them anymore and the benefits of smaller file sizes and quicker reads would outweigh the risk of corruption. Because it's basically just a bunch of ones and zeros, it's impossible to edit, so that's something to bear in mind. So that basically wraps up the bulk of what I wanted to explain. To be honest, there's really not much to it. Just remember, .mb is a compressed file which can give better performance and achieve smaller file sizes, and .ma are great for readability and therefore great for making changes from a text editor, which in some instances can be faster. And it can even save your butt if your file went open and you want to problem solve. If you like my content and find it helpful, supporting the channel on Patreon will help me to continue to bring you the content you enjoy. With that, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.